Hi everybody, this is Booklooms, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Triss Pryor from the Movie Divergent action figure. So the supplies that you will need are skin color bands, black bands, and either yellow bands or some sort of brown bands for her hair. In the book, Triss has blonde hair, but in the movie she has brown hair, so you can decide what color you would like your action figure's hair to be. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to make Triss's arms. And I would suggest that you can please complete the basic action figure tutorial before trying to make Triss. So we are going to be using double bands for this whole entire project. So we are going to take double bands and place them at the top. Take two more bands and just keep placing them down our loom. And as you can see on the right side of the loom, I have done the exact same thing, just to save time in the video. So you are going to want two sets of arms. So now we're going to take a capping band, push this down a little bit, and twist it over itself. So now we are going to hook the arms. So we're going to reach in underneath the capping band, pull back these bands, and pull them forwards. Pull back. And just keep pulling them forwards. And now we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So when you are doing a project like this, um, it's good to have another hook to the side to put the unwanted parts that you are not using yet. So I'm going to take both of the arms off the loom. So here we have one arm and I'm going to put it on the other hook. And if you don't have another hook, you can use a pencil or a pen. So I'm just going to take off both of these arms and put them here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the hair. I have, just to save time again, I have already made two strands of hair and we are going to make a total of three. So I'm going to show you how to make one strand right now, but then it's up to you to make the other two. So what we are going to do, we are going to make a single chain, this time we're only using single bands down our loom and we are going to do we are going to put nine bands on six seven eight nine and I just realized that my nails are really smudged and that's embarrassing. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I just painted them to try to look nice for the video. And then they became smudged, which is kind of funny. Okay. Oh, and if you were wondering about the color I was using for her hair, it is the Rainbow Loom Caramel. And if you are using yellow bands for the hair you would just do the same exact thing but i'm making tris from the movie version so now just like we did with the arms we are going to hook our bands forwards
and then you are going to make you are going to do the same exact process two more times. So now you just take this off your loom. And you can put it on the hook that you are not using. So as you can see right now on my hook, I have three strands of hair. So please pause the video now and make two more strands of nine bands each. So now we can start, after you have done that, now we can start laying our bands out on the loom. So first, I am going to take double bands. From now on, I'll be using double bands and place them from there to there. Then, I'm going to take two more bands and place them from here to here. Two more bands from here to here. And now, we are going to be using a lot of black rubber bands to represent the Dauntless outfit. So, you are going to take two bands from here to here. From here to here. So now just continue placing our double black bands. And now we are going to do one more row of black. And then we are going, this is for the shirt. Oops. And now we are going to start on the pants. So now we are just going to continue placing our black bands down the loom. And you are going to do this on the left and the right side only. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm going to make the shoes and then we are going to attach the arms. So in order to make the shoes, you are going to need three bands. So you take one single black band, wrap it around one, two, three times, and then take two more black bands and place it over. And that will serve as our capping band. So now we're going to do the same exact thing. 
wrap it around three times. Take two black bands. Pull it over. And then, now we just put it on. So now, next, we are going to take our arms from the hook. And we are going to place it on either side of Triss. So now she has arms. And now I'm going to put the tapping bands on. So, for the shirt part, we are going to take one band and loop it upon itself. So take one band, make it into a figure eight. Oops. One band, make it into a figure eight, and put it back upon itself. One band, figure eight back upon itself and this just makes the top thinner and now we are going to use double bands for this part right here to serve as her pants so now we can start hooking so we are going to reach in through the shoe band. Reach in through the shoe band. I know you can't see it. I'm really sorry, but I'll see we have I have the hook through the shoe band. And then I am going to pull these forwards. And now I am just going to continue going forwards. And once we go up here, it's the same exact thing. Just reach underneath that band, pull forward, reach underneath this, pull forward. I only, I only got one. Sometimes it's tricky. So basically you're just this is basically almost like a triple single bracelet. Now for this one, I am going to reach in underneath the pants, pull these two bands forwards, I'm going to do it with my fingers, pull, yep, I'm sorry, I just want to make sure I did the right thing. Okay, I'm sorry, I just confused myself. So you're gonna reach your hook in here and pull this forwards. Okay, and now I'm going to do this side. So I'm gonna reach in under the shoe, pull forwards, reach in, pull forwards. Actually, if you want to undo yours, 
I'm going to go like this, and that's going to fix it. There will not be a loop here. There shouldn't be a loop if you do it the way that you just did, but I think I corrected my mistake. So if you want to, you can just undo your thing and hook it again. I'm really sorry. So pull in, go forwards. Okay, and now I'm going to hook the middle. Yeah, this looks better now. Okay, so now we are almost done with hooking her body. So I'm going to reach in through this, through the arms, make sure that the arms are not being hooked, take the two bands from the neck and pull them over, push down. Then move the arm out of the way, take these two bands and push here. And now for the neck, I'm going to reach in, grab the two bands, and pull them up. So now this is where your extra hook is going to come in handy. This is just Triss's body and we need to do her face. So I'm going to take her off the loom carefully. It's all black. Okay. Personally, I think the Dauntless outfits are pretty cool. And you can see where the shirt becomes the pants. So now, once you get to the arms, you might want to take your hook and take everything off from there. That's what I usually do. And now, we have Triss's body. Or you could put her this way, but I messed up somewhere and it looks a little sloppy. So I'm going to use this side. Please move your loom into the staggered position because we are going to be making Triss's face. So I'm going to take two caramel bands and place them here. And then I am going to take two more and place them here. And two more and place them here. If you are making your Triss with blonde hair, then you would place the yellow bands here. And we are using double bands. Okay, so now we are going to be taking our skin tone bands and we are going to be placing them from here to here. From here to here. From here to here. From here to here. Oops. 
and then we are going to take them and place them to here, here to here. And here to here. Then I have already made Triss's eyes. If you do not know how to do this, please either check out Marloom's creations or my Katniss video. I have found that I am not very I'm not very good at explaining this on camera. So once you do this, if you put your either your beads or your bands, you are going to take it, stretch it, and separate. And now we are going to put our hair on. So I'm going to take all three sets at once, and I'm going to put that on the right side of her head. You can put it on the right or the left side. Either side will look fine. And I know that she usually wears her hair in a back ponytail, so you can tie it together. And I'm sorry that it's not a back pony and it's a side pony. So now we are going to take Triss's body, and we are going to place it. here so just be careful and either side will look fine whichever side you choose to do so now I'm moving it up so hopefully you can see it better so we are going to take pull the neck back take the top two bands and pu push them for hook them forwards and then we are going to take the other two bands and place them to the side and take these two well I'm doing it one at a time but if you get it two at a time that's great and place them here now I'm going to reach here place this here Basically, you are just hooking. So now once we get to the hair, we're going to do this. Oops. There we go. It's here. And now we are going to take Push it down if you need to. Take these and place them here. And take these. Oops. And place them here. And now we are almost done. So now you can take, reach in, grab the top two bands, place them here. And now we can begin taking her face off the loom. Not just her face, her whole body. <laughs> okay. So usually once I get to the hair, just to be safe and to make sure our whole project doesn't fall apart, I like to go like this. And we have Triss. So now you can just push her body here and I am going to use an S clip to secure her. So I've got my S clip, so I'm going to take Triss off the loom, hold her like this, and put all four of the strands here. Then you can push her eyes through and there we go. And one more thing that you can do is you can just take a black band or two black bands and you can tie her hair. And hopefully yours won't get tangled like mine seems to have done. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna fix this then I'll be right back. So here we have Triss. I really hope that this tutorial helped you. I'm sorry for all the mistakes I made. And I would love to see the Trisses that you guys have made. 
So please either direct message them to me on Instagram or post them for everybody to see because I would love to see them. And I would love to see that you guys are finding use of my tutorials. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was useful and I really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more videos, please click subscribe. Thank you guys. You're the best.